All right, Libra, this one was really, really interesting. And I think that a lot of you are being suppressed. It's like you cannot be who you need to be in your current situation. And what you're doing here is giving into the feeling of not having, I won't have, I will never attain. And it's really about exposing the parts of yourself that are preventing you from finding, you know, what it is that you're wanting or needing. So the hungry ghosts and this did show up as a challenge for you in shadow self. So let's talk about shadow self. Now, like I said, this is going to be about exposing the parts of yourself that are preventing you from finding what you want, getting what you want or finding peace. And I think that it's oppression because when you look at shadow work, it's not always about the bad parts about yourself. It's about the parts of yourself that have been suppressed due to upbringing or environment or conditioning. That really is what shadow work is about. So let me give you an example. Back in the day, right, when you were growing up as a girl, you were always told, be quiet, be pleasant, be peaceful right? Don't over-exaggerate emotions. Don't lose control. Always stay calm and cool. But that is just suppressing the difficult emotions that, you know, we need to experience so that we can learn how to deal with them, right? Now, that's just an example. And it could be any part of yourself that has been pushed down beneath the surface where you felt like you were not allowed to be who you truly are. And with the hungry ghosts, you're giving into the feeling of, I will never have. All right, Libra, here we go. Here's your overall. Oh God, the five of swords. Mm -hmm. All right. And defeat, right? It's feeling defeated, which you may be dealing with an asshole who thinks that they are better than you, or they are willing to do whatever it takes to get what they want, even if it means hurting you. Now, for you, what I would say here is don't give in to the anger. This may be you needing to walk away from certain people in your life for good. You know, especially if they're continuously making you feel unworthy or constantly acting like they are better than you. And I also feel like in terms of communication with the Five of Swords, you know, besides having really brutal fights, like in terms of things that are being said back and forth. I also look at this as somebody who is invalidating the way that you feel and what you think, right? But this being the overall, though, it may put a taint on everything that you're dealing with, but it's really about dealing with this and getting it out of your life or getting whoever you need to out of your life. Okay. In the past, the Nine of Cups, the immediate feeling that I got from that was that if this is about a person, this is like exactly what you wanted. Like almost believing that somebody was going to bring you all of the emotional fulfillment that you've been looking for. Now that's only going to be for some of you. For others of you with the Nine of Cups, this is like, I feel because I'm still feeling like lack and longing like feeling like your wishes are not being fulfilled, like you're not getting that emotional fulfillment, you know, because the nine of cups would be about being content with everything that you have. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, you guys. But with the five of swords, how, how can you be? Now, if you have everything you could ever want, this could literally be about somebody coming through that is like, no, you know, you need to help me. You need to give to me, right? But I, I don't know, the immediate feeling was this situation is going to give me everything I could ever want. But now it, it's not that way. Oh, yeah. In the present judgment. So this is where you're going to have to review this situation. And this is like getting a huge wake up call. You know, and what do you really want? Are you really clear on what is going to bring you happiness? And, you know, and it's funny because I, I always say this with the Nine of Cups. And the thing is, is we, we all, we have all done it. We have all done it. We have looked at certain situations and people and think this person is going to make everything better. They're going to bring me all this happiness or the situation is absolutely perfect. It's going to make everything better. But really happiness comes from within. 
right? I've always said, if you place your happiness in the hands of the other, they will fail to create it for you because that is your responsibility. And judgment is like the huge wake up call here that now you're going to have to look at this situation and look at this person's actions and see how this is wrong. And we need to shut the door so you can get to that major completion in your life and move on, right? But it, it's calling for you to look now. You're going to have to review this entire thing. Oh boy. All right. Mm -mm -mm. The Three of Cups. Now, there are two ways that we can look at this because, you know, I look at this one and think that somebody is giving attention to another person and is neglecting the other. And you may feel with the Five of Swords like you are being neglected by this person. They're not fulfilling those wants. They're not going to fulfill those desires, right? And it's like you have to face it and see it. The other part of that, though, with the Three of Cups could literally be support coming through for you because of having to deal with this situation. It's one or the other. I just don't like the idea of people being involved in this situation because there is more than one. It's not just you and another person here. Unfortunately, other people are getting dragged into the situation. And you may literally be dealing with somebody who is going to other people, asking them to take sides, possibly against you, right? But if that's the case, then they're not the only ones who can find support, you know? Oh, boy. All right. Your best path to follow the King of Pentacles. I look at that and if this is what you need to be and what you need to project outward, you need to be in a place where you're being realistic about things now, especially if you're in this place of judgment and having to review this. You're going to have to be realistic about what is actually going on. You know, don't let somebody try to trip you up with their own bullshit because they think they're right, right? The other part of this, though, too, is when I look at the King of Pentacles, I think of the man of success, right? So whether you're male or female here, it, this literally could be that you need to provide for you. It's not that you are being selfish. You are dealing with somebody who's being selfish, but you need to take your own happiness into consideration here because clearly this situation is not giving it to you anymore. That or it's needing to find support from somebody who can provide that for you. You know, maybe there is somebody around you that can give you the kind of assistance that you're needing. And it may be that you need to reach out to somebody here to help you with this situation because you're getting ready to close the door on it. In your environment, the King of Wands and then looking at judgment, and that may be the problem. So if you're dealing with somebody, especially in terms of you know, relationship here I'm looking at. And, and again, there's very strongly this feeling of this person can make me happy, but they're not. They're not. Judgment may be that, you know, you're looking at this person's personality for what it really is. And if they can't provide what they need to, then maybe it's time to be done with this, you know, shutting the door on this, cutting this person out. Now, I, I understand it, though, because I'm looking at how it's connected with the past here. It's it's the man of passion, right? Whether you're dealing with male, female, possibly fire sign, it doesn't matter, you know, because there's still that passion that's there, the attraction. But unfortunately, you're dealing with a person here who can't sit still. And that's really what I see with this King of Wands. Like, I can't get past that. I love him. I do. And I think that, you know, he, he can be a, a great person and a great provider. But unfortunately, I don't think that that's what you're dealing with. Now, the other part of this, though, too, is because of the Three of Cups and looking at it this way, you may have two people in your life right now. And it may be time for you to cut out the one that makes you feel like shit, especially if they're not willing to put forth, you know, any kind of effort, right? Like, because I'm looking at, at a huge difference between these two. You know, one person here who has the ability to provide and another one who is more interested in the next adventure. You know what I mean? Like this would be more stable, you know, and it, it's it's time now. Like it, it's time, Libra, because this situation, it may just end up getting, you know, more and more difficult. 
you know, but like I said, for some of you, it's just, I need to cut an asshole out of my life and start providing for myself. You know, especially if this is somebody who entertains other people, you know. Okay, your hopes and your fears, the page of swords. So the feeling that I'm getting off of that is in terms of you, it, it's fearing having to give that bad news. Now, the other part of that, though, is when it comes to the person that you're dealing with here, I don't think that they're being very clear with you or giving you straight answers. This is fearing that you don't know all of the details. And it's interesting here because you have the Three of Cups and the Page of Swords going on, which could definitely indicate third party information. You know, but this person is speaking from, you know, what they have gathered from what they have seen, not exactly, you know, the truth, right? But this is like needing to be able to discern, you know, fact from made up facts, right? Alternative facts. It's interesting. But this is needing to get more information, but fearing that you're not going to get all of the details or all of the answers. And you may be actually finding out why. Mm. <laughs> now, this is only going to be for some of you. You may be finding out why this person is acting the way that they are, you know, because I, they're not they're not being honest, but they're not seeing themselves as being deceitful. But you may see it as other people being involved. Oh, Libra. And then cutting out the star. And the thing is, is like I said, if this is coming down to a situation of people taking sides, I think that for you, what's more important is to have healing. Healing for you. A, a healing situation is going to be coming out here. And I have to wonder if it doesn't have to do with another person. Like you may literally be in a place where one relationship is going really horrible, but you may have somebody who is a little bit more stable. And it may be about transitioning to this rather than continuing to stay in a situation with someone where they're just a complete fucking asshole. Like, I don't know how else to put that, you know, and I'm not trying to be mean here, but with the five of swords, that's kind of hard to get past, right? But things look better coming out with the star, right? And it's exactly what you need, but it's also seeing what you wanted on a much bigger scale this time and seeing how it is possible. It's not about placing your happiness in the hands of another ever again. You know, it's about what you can do for you now. But I do feel like for some of you, it may be because of somebody. All right. Now, and it's funny because of oppression and speaking of oppression and being in a situation where somebody is not letting you be who you need to be. I don't think that with the Hierophant here that you're continuing to stay committed to a situation where you feel trapped. I really think that this is you getting out of it. But also, again, it's interesting finding support. I'm telling you, it's like finding, you know, somebody who can support you. And this doesn't have to be another lover, though. I, I have to be honest. I do think that that may be the case for some of you. But whoever this person is, they are like really wanting to help you out with this situation. Wow, man. Now, with the Ten of Pentacles, I look at that with the Nine of Cups and think that at some point in the past, things may have been very stable and secure, but we are coming to the end of that. And a lot of that is because, you know, there was this hope that, you know, this person was going to make everything better. That's what I want to say. And it looks like, you know, you're moving into instability. And I think that for some of you, this person may be like, it's either somebody that you're married to or somebody that you're living with or somebody that you've been in a relationship with for a while because it's like you're stuck with them, you know, like literally I've let them into my home and I can't get them out now. Now that's only going to be for some of you. But what should have been a very stable and long-term situation is now become oppressive and you feel trapped. And with judgment, you're being forced to look at this now. You have to. You have to wake up and see what is going on. You know, you can't continue to make excuses for this person. That's what I want to say. But I'm telling you, with the Hierophant, 
It's not that you're staying committed to this because you're looking at the healing of this situation, you know, and having hope in what you were wanting in the first place restored to you. So I feel like with the Hierophant here, this is, you know, you obviously being a little bit more grounded here, absolutely. And I don't think it's about you doing, you know, what is considered to be the right thing. And I'm going like this. I think that this is you finding faith in yourself and your your wishes and your desires again. And I do think it's support. I do. I do think that this is about somebody coming through that really wants to help you with this situation. Wow. <laughs> wow. Some of you may be leaving a marriage and you may be reaching out to somebody, you know, who is going to help you kind of like rebuild. But unfortunately, people may be running their mouths. Like I talk about the cackling hen syndrome, especially with these two, right? And unfortunately, that's information you're going to have to deal with. You may be dealing with a partner, if you're breaking up with them, who is looking to have other people take sides. The thing is, is I'm looking at assurance. And I always laugh when that shows up because it, it indicates that you're dealing with a person here that wants to have that assurance. They absolutely need to know that everything is going to be okay, especially if you are detaching from something, right? This is the universe telling you you're fine. Everything is going to be fine. But only if you are waking up to what is actually going on. And again, I kind of feel like making excuses. Like you may have been making too many excuses for this person. But then I also look at assurance and think, yeah, you're, you're going to get assurance and it's coming in the form possibly of another person who supports you. Man, man, man. But you've been, I think, in a place for so long where you just don't see how. And then discovering truth. Who else got this? I think it was cancer. You stand in the light of truth. This is basically not going along with what other people are saying, but going with what you know to be your own personal truth. You know, and again, there's this huge awakening here and with judgment, absolutely. But you're moving into a place where you haven't been before. And, and again, I go back to assurance and I think you're, you're going to be fine. But not only that, Libra, you're not going to be alone. I'm telling you, there's somebody that is there that is going to be supporting you every step of the way.